Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. It's a drizzly but lovely day today. Um, it's in like the low 60s today. Uh, we're getting some showers on and off. Uh, we're supposed to get another batch coming in here pretty soon. But anyway, um, it's really pleasant right now, but not tonight. Tomorrow night we are forecast to get our first frost of the year, uh, which actually isn't bad. Uh, today is October 29th. So if it does frost tomorrow night, that'll be, you know, very end of October and our average first frost date is October 20th. So we got a little bit of extra time this year, which is great. Um, really glad it waited too, because we did actually have, a, I don't know, a week or so ago, there was uh, one night that they um, said it could frost and it didn't. I got lucky there because I was not able <laughs> to come over that day. We've had some sickness in the house and I would, it just... There was no way I was going to get over here. But anyway, uh, definitely the there's like three days in a row they are forecasting freezing temperatures overnight. So that means that today is my last day and I need to get in here and pick everything else that I can for the year. So I am going to go ahead. For, there's really only three things left at this point. Tomatoes, uh, a little bit of okra, and... Um, I think all of these peppers are done. I might run across one or two, but my hot peppers that are over here on the other side of the cucumber trellis, um, those I need to pick. Uh, the only other thing I need to check on, I picked my gourds a week or two ago, um, but I do need to just look over here and see if any of my pumpkins produced anything. I don't think they did, um, but in the event that there are any, I want to find them and get those. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and get started and I'll show you what we get for our last harvest of the season. Grab this one pink banana squash, and this is not as big as it would have gotten given the opportunity, but hopefully maybe would have mature seeds. Not super confident on that, but it's not going to grow anymore, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Unfortunately, I think that's the only squash or pumpkin I'm going to get this year. Um, I was just looking. My other, these are sugar pie pumpkins, and that's... That's all they've gotten to do. I didn't get the pumpkins and squash planted as early as I should have this year. Um, and they still might have had enough time, but they really struggled. We had like a month or more where we didn't have any rain. And these plants have just really struggled um, and lagged behind. And they finally 
picked up and started growing in again when we started getting some more rain a few months or a few weeks ago but they just haven't had time to um, get to the point where any of them could mature so that's you know that's unfortunate but that's just one of those things sometimes that will happen so that's all right though what we did get was a lot of green tomatoes um, and a few ripe ones um, so with the green tomatoes any of these I'll go through these when I get home and any of them that have started to blush like this has started to turn yellow. That will continue to ripen if I just leave it out on the counter. Um, so any of them that are like that, that have begun to blush, I'll leave out and they can ripen and we can still eat them um, when they get ripe. But the rest of them that are just completely green, um, I will have to do something with those as green tomatoes. And I have never done anything like that. I know there are quite a few green tomato recipes. Um, you can um, can them like in slices to fry to have fried green tomatoes. Um, I eat fried green tomatoes occasionally, but it's not something that I love enough that I think I want to do that. Um, but I know there are some recipes for like relishes and earlier in the year. Um, I had uh, in a short, I think I asked people what they do with a bunch of cherry tomatoes because I had a lot. And somebody suggested, you know, when I get to the end of the year like this and you have a lot of green ones left, that they're good to pickle. So I might try that. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions, any favorite green tomato recipes like relishes or whatnot, I don't even know. If you have a recipe that uses a lot of green tomatoes, um, if you don't care to drop it in the comments, that would be awesome. I'm open to suggestion. But I've got that basket is like, that's a two pack or half bushel basket full of all my unripe um like beefsteak types and that's a two battery died just then i had to change it out so i'm not exactly sure where it cut out but that's a two gallon bucket of Samarzano. so i have quite a few um green ones to work with for trying something i don't know exactly what yet um and then this one up to like almost to the top is red or blushing Samarzanos that are either are ripe or will ripen. Um, and then on top here, I've just got the last few okra and a few sweet peppers that I got some of these mini sweet peppers and a couple of bell peppers that are just tiny. Um, and that one is all cherry tomatoes, green and ripe mixed together. And I could have gotten more of those. I could have gotten more of the summers on us too, but I just ran out of containers. I already had to go find that bucket and that tub because I, I just didn't expect to get that much when I got here, honestly. So if I wanted to go find another bucket and spend some more time, I definitely could get some more, but I have some other things I need to do today, so I'm not going to worry about it. And lastly, right here, I've got this whole tub of all my hot peppers. On top here are the jalapenos, some of which have turned red, but most of them are still green. And then down under that, I've got the Sugar Rush Peach. And at the very bottom are all of the cayennes, some of which are green, but some of which are ripened, turn red. So with those, probably going to either dry or make hot sauce out of the cayenne. Uh, not sure about the Sugar Rush Peach. They might go into a hot sauce or something like that, too. I haven't really decided yet. The jalapenos. Probably will use some of the green ones fresh. And then I'd like to maybe try to do chipotles with the red ones. I've never done that. So all a chipotle is is a fully mature red jalapeno that has been smoked. Um, so, I don't know. Might attempt something with that. If you have any, if you've ever done that and have any suggestions or whatever, be open to that too. So anyway, there is our last harvest out of the summer garden. Always sad to see it go, but such is the nature of it. We have seasons and that's a good thing. Um, but before I leave today, I am going to plant these greens that I started. Um, and ideally I would have done this a few weeks ago too, but life this month has had a lot going on between just some obligations we had and some projects at the house and being sick. I just haven't had a real chance to get over here and do this to until today. So I'm going to try to get these stuck in the ground. Hopefully 
they will be able to survive a while and we'll get some greens. Um, I think these, most of these should be frost hardy down to, you know, into the low 20s anyway. So hopefully we will have a mild enough fall that we'll still get some greens. Um, actually, it looks like Katie has been in here and put out some hay down already as mulch, which is awesome. That'll save me a little bit of time. So hopefully I can just stick these in the ground. It's going to be really soggy today, but just try to get them in the ground and hopefully they will grow. So here we've got Swiss chard, um, then I have collards, red Russian kale, excuse me, there, um, and in the front here I've just got a couple dino kale, one little cabbage, I tried twice to start cabbage, <laughs> and out of all, let's see, I tried, I started, I should have had 48 cabbage plants if they all came up and I got one, <laughs> don't know. What was going on with that but i had my one lonely little couch plant that actually germinated is right there um and then on this end i've got five brussels sprout plants i've never tried to grow brussels sprouts brussels, oh my gosh brussels sprouts before <laughs> but uh katie had mentioned that they were something that she really liked so i thought we would at least give it a shot and again at this point in the year um, i'm just really hoping that we'll have uh, mild enough weather that they will have a chance to grow before they get frozen off eventually um, and you, you know you just don't know that that's the risk you take with planting stuff like this in the fall you're just at the mercy of the weather so we'll see they're in the ground um, and it's raining so they will have plenty of water so it's just it's out of my hands I really hope we will be able to get some greens but we'll just see how the fall goes anyway Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you are having a good day at the end of October here, going into November, and we will see you next time.